Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here and today I'll be showing you how to restore your USB disk after making it a bootable disk. Now this issue happens whenever you flash a USB with some bootable ISO. Perhaps you want to install some operating system like Windows or a Linux distribution like Ubuntu and then all of a sudden you can't use your USB disk for its normal function to just store files. If you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, Make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos, as well as tech tips. So the first thing I wanna show you is if I launch my file browser, I currently have a USB in the computer, but it doesn't actually show up here on the left and I can't currently access it. That's because the USB I have is a bootable disk and the system does not recognize it, at least as a storage device anymore. So how do we fix that? Let's first check out and see if the system actually sees the disk. I'll exit out of here and let's launch something called disk management. So if we just type in disk, we can see we get this create and format hard disk partitions. I'm going to click on that. And now if I look through, I can see the various different partitions I have, as well as the two disks that the system recognizes. Now this is my SSD that has all my operating systems on it. But what I'm interested in is the second one, which is disk one, a removable disk, but you can see that the system doesn't really recognize what's going on here. It does recognize a few partitions and it claims that they're currently unallocated, but they do have information on them. And then a middle one that has a four megabyte FAT partitioned EFI on here. Now yours might not look like this here, but at least the system does actually recognize my USB device. And I can see here that it's 30 gigs, which matches the amount that my USB has available. In order to fix it, I want to go ahead and launch a command prompt now as an administrator. So the first thing I'm gonna do is type in CMD and then right click on command prompt and run it as an administrator. You'll wanna make sure to do this or else you might not be able to reformat your USB device. I'm gonna run that as an administrator and hit the yes button. Following that, in this newly launched administrator command prompt, I'm going to go ahead and type in a few commands in order to go ahead and fix my USB so I can use it as storage again. So this is a fairly simple process, although you might be a little intimidated to use command prompt but as long as we go through here slowly and make sure that we select the proper disk, we'll be able to fix that USB. All right, so the first command is disk part. So D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, and we're going to go ahead and press enter now. And at this point, we've entered the Microsoft disk part utility, which helps us manage disk partitions. Next thing I'm going to type is list, and then followed by space disk and press enter. This will list all the disks on the system. As we saw in the disk management tool, there are two disks and I already talked about the 30 gigabyte one being my USB disk. Make sure you know which one is your USB disk and once you do know, you'll make note of the disk number. So the USB for me is this 30 gigabyte disk one. So the next thing I'm going to do is select this disk. I can do that by typing select space disk, and then followed by the number of the USB disk that you want to fix. So mine's disk one. Now be very careful not to select the wrong disk because this method will completely clear out and erase everything on that disk. So you'll wanna double check and triple check that you've selected the proper disk. Go ahead and select your disk now by pressing enter. And now I want to clean the disk. That's a simple command, we just type in clean and press enter. The disk partition tool will say succeeded in cleaning disk if everything went properly there. And at this point, we're ready to go ahead and create a primary partition for the disk. We can do this by typing create space partition and then primary. Let's press enter again. And it says that disk part has succeeded in creating the specified partition. We're almost done here. Next, let's go ahead and type in active and that will mark the current partition as active that we just got done creating. Now we're ready to go ahead and format the disk. So if I type in format and then FS for file system, we'll set that equal to FAT32. And let's just go ahead and do a quick partition. That way we don't have to wait a while here. The quick feature is usually good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and it should be fairly fast. 
but you can see that it says disk part successfully formatted the volume of everything went successfully. Finally, I'm ready to go ahead and exit out of disk partitioner. You could either do that by simply hitting the X button or just hitting exit here and that will leave disk part. All right, the formatting and everything went successfully in command prompt. If you went ahead and made it this far, hit that like button for me, it really does help me out. I'm going to go ahead and launch a new file explorer. Well, I still don't see my USB in here and that's probably because the system hasn't really assigned a letter to the drive and it really hasn't been reinitialized. I can do this myself if I go ahead, exit out of here, and back in the search bar, I can search for disk again, and then I want to launch that disk management tool once more by clicking create and format hard disk partitions. This time, we can see that there is a storage disk down here that's 30 gigabytes and it's FA32, just like we formatted it through command prompt. I can now right click on this and actually hit the change drive letter and paths. If I click on this, we can see that there's no letter or path currently assigned to our disk. So more than likely, that's why the system's still not recognizing it. You might have luck by just removing and putting back in your USB to reinitialize things, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this method, hit add and assign a letter. You can select whatever letter you want that's currently available and I'm going to go ahead and press OK. After that, I see that storage is currently mounted on D. Let's go ahead and check if we can access it now. If I exit out and I open up my file browser, now I can see that storage is currently available and that things are currently empty in here. So I'll just make sure that things work by putting in a file. And a file I have here is a graphics file that I use for another Linux video of mine. And we can see that it does accept the file. Congratulations at this point, you've successfully fixed your USB and now you can go ahead and use it as a storage device like you normally would. And that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.